Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're back in round two of the water comparison series chart. So tonight we're gonna drink all five of these waters and I'm gonna decide which one I personally think tastes the best. And the winner is gonna move on to round three of the water comparison series chart. So if you want more information about these five waters, go back to the round one videos. I give you more facts and details and their background history in that video. So uh, tonight's mainly just the taste test. But tonight we have five pretty good waters. It's been a long time since we've had five still and unflavored waters. Normally there's some sparkling waters mixed in and I don't like sparkling waters so they're kind of eliminated like right away. But tonight these are all five that could be winners. Like on paper these are all good waters and it's all from salaciousdrinks.com, all five of these. And they're from all over the world, Canada, you know, New Zealand, Tennessee, and uh, let's get started. Let's just open them up and do the taste test. First up is Billiner water. In round one, I don't think I gave this fair shot because this was up against a sparkling water, the, the sparkling version of Billiner's, and the sparkling version of this was one of the worst tasting waters I've ever had. So this, like, just won right away. So let's taste this and see uh, what, I th what I think about it now. pretty good. Uh, this is a very old water. This is from 1664. And this is from the Czech Republic. Yeah, in round one, I literally could not finish the sparkling version of this. I, at the end of the video, I just flushed it down the toilet. It tasted really bad. If I ever make a list of the top 10 worst waters, the sparkling version of this will be on the list. Here is Canada water with the very vague name. good one it's a wet water this uh on paper this is a very good one this is from like uh an aquifer where water bubbles up to the surface some of the top waters on the water comparison chart right now are those same waters that bubble up to the surface and uh, this is a really good tasting one too it's actually real. it's really good Next up is the uh, Jackson Springs water. This is the winner of the quote, best tasting water in the world award. And this is a very expensive water. This is $10. It's has a big taste of like soil, like a dirty, so soily, earthy taste. Um, the famous water reviewer Martin Rees said this is a very good tasting water. Uh, he, he seems to have a preference towards waters with a high TDS, uh, total dissolved solids. Um, I personally tend to lean towards uh, waters with less total dissolved solids. my own personal preference though here is the planet h2o water this is from tennessee picking up like a maybe almost like a salty taste but maybe that's just Leftover from one of these waters. Okay, here is the pure water from New Zealand. Hmm. These are all good. This is a this is a tough round. Okay, I seriously don't know what the winner is. I don't, I have no idea. Well, I do have an idea, but I'm going to start off by eliminating this one. Um, 
This is called the world, like, it won the award for the best water in the world. This is $10. It should be really good. Before I drank this in round one, I predicted that this would make it to round three or four. But I'm going to eliminate it now, just because it has such a strong taste of, like, soil. Of, um, just kind of dirt. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I, I would be happy to drink this. But especially at this price. Um, you know, if, if I was drinking out of a Nestle bottle right now, I would probably stop and think, oh, there's something wrong with this because it's got a strong, soily taste to it. Yeah, that's out. What's next? I just mentioned Martin Reese, the water reviewer. I've been kind of Googling him um, today. He's pretty famous for a water reviewer. He's been on Conan O'Brien. He's been on Bill and I, the Science Guys show. He's been on, like, CNN and, like, tons of, you know, BuzzFeed videos. He's really famous. Like, I haven't... I've heard of, him in the, heard of him in the past, but I didn't realize just how famous he was. Okay, I'm going to eliminate this one, the Planet H2O water. This is the one from Tennessee. It kind of just has like a, a very basic taste to it. Maybe a little plasticky. It's sort of similar to a smart water. I think a good way of reviewing a water is if you drink a large amount of it at once, you should feel good afterwards. It's just with this one, I think it's fine when you take sips of it, but I think drinking a large amount of this at, at once, you just wouldn't feel good afterwards. out these three and these three are very close Um. Yeah, I'm going to eliminate this one. This is from the Chess Republic. It's royal class spring water. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's just out of these three, um, I would just say this is not <laughs> the best. Kind of like a, maybe a, tastes kind of like a hard water, like it's not like soft enough, soft enough. Okay. 
Oh yeah, I think this is video 6,666. Um, doesn't really mean anything, it just... 666 is supposed to be the sign of the devil or something. So maybe something bad will happen, maybe something will fall on me or something bad will happen in this video. In uh, episode 666, I put a bunch of like... It was just ketchup, it was ketchup on my face just to look evil or something. I just want to do something different for 666. And it's like one of the most viewed episodes. Um, I guess people like 666. I really have no um, reason to pick one or the other of these. You know, this is from an aquifer, so I should like this because it's like water that bubbles up from the surface. This puts like a good feeling in my mind that it's from New Zealand. When I, when I just picture New Zealand, I picture a very clean place, you know, very clean streams. There's there very little humans there. Um. These are both good waters. These are both really good. This is going to sound weird, but there's kind of like two ways of tasting something. The first one is your tongue and your mouth. And then the second way of judging it is kind of how your stomach reacts to it. Like like I was saying, if if you want to drink oh, if you want to drink more of it, it's a good good feeling, good uh good water. And I think it just you know, has a good mineral content if your brain tells you to drink more of it. Okay. I'm going to say the winner is this one, the pure water. And I think it's like, it's not even my tongue that is saying the taste is good. It's like the back of my throat is saying that this one tastes better. Like, like the back of my throat, the back of my throat has like an aftertaste. With like, It's so slight. It's so like, such a minuscule difference. But I, I just have to search for something to pick a winner. And... Yeah, just the back of my throat has like a weird feeling or a weird, weird taste when, when I swallow that one. Like, after it finishes going down my throat. But I don't have that with this. Yeah, this is a good one. And I also like that the uh, the bottles have different backgrounds looking through it. With the different bottles. And if you buy a case of this, it comes with many different colors. So, the O Pure is the winner. That's a lot of water. That's several, several liters of water. I'm like stuffed right now. But it's nice... I'm happy to be, I'm happy to be done with this video because the background behind me is starting to be cleared up of the waters. That whole dresser thing was like 
a couple weeks ago was just filled up with waters, but I'm slowly chipping away at those waters to someday find out which water is the best in the world. And uh, the best out of these five is O Pure. I think I'm actually saying that wrong. I think it's not O Pure, it's Umlaut Pure. Or whatever this symbol is. Sort of looks like the Green Lantern symbol, kind of. What are you guys up to? How's your day going? Alright. Goodbye.